thousand dollars on House of CB. And this is just one of the boxes I received. <laughs> Hi, my name is Diana. Welcome to my channel. I am doing a House of CB dresses haul today. So yes, I did spend a lot of money on House of CB, but not intentionally. I really only wanted to try on a few of their dresses, but the first batch that came did not fit. And that's how I ended up with this many boxes of House of CB dresses. So let's talk about them and how they fit and their quality. All the dresses I am trying on today from House of CB are going to be linked down below in the description box. And if you want to see how I style my outfits, please remember to follow me on Instagram right here. And um, let's get started on the review of House of CB. So if you haven't heard of House of CB, they are a British brand. They make these super cute uh, cottage core dresses that are all over Instagram and Pinterest. They are really known for their kind of like corseted dresses. One of their most popular dresses, I think since um, I've heard of them, is the Tallulah, uh, Tallulah dress. And you've seen, if you've seen my other videos, you've seen that I found several tubes of it that fit really well and that look spot on, that I wear all the time on my Instagram and I love. This time I decided to try my a real House of CB dress and see how they actually fit in the quality. So they're a British brand and their sizes usually are extra small, small, medium, and large. And some of the dresses, because of the way the cups are, they have A to C and then like C to D cup sizing for the various dresses. Most of their cottage core type dresses are a cotton blend fabric and they are not stretchy, very little stretch. On their website, they'll tell you how much stretch uh, that dress is and everything. So like it'll they'll rank it from like one to three, one being not very stretchy and three being I would suppose the most stretchy. They do have free shipping and free returns to the US. So the first dress to arrive at my house was the Aaliyah dress, I think it's called. I love this one. It's such a pretty print. Again, it's that blue porcelain looking print that's supposed to be really popular this year. And it's kind of it's kind of fitted at the hips and has a like a skirt that kind of ruffles out and it has a bust thing right here or like a underwire cup, I would say. Yeah, it's boned right here. Or it has the underwire under the bust and it is boned in the front only. oh actually no in the front and the back so there is no cinching in the back like a corset or anything some of their dresses have the cinching in the back but this one does not i was really sad because when this arrived at my house it did not fit at all so according to the size chart i would be probably an extra small but maybe a small and i couldn't tell i thought i would order the extra small to try it out i on the extra size on the extra small i'm more toward the bigger side of that size chart, this dress fits the lower end of an extra small. So usually it's a range that you would fit into a dress for an extra small because this dress is like very non-stretchy, like doesn't stretch at all. It, um, it runs really small. So if you are bigger than what's the lower end of the extra small measurements, this will not fit you size up. I would definitely say size up in this dress. It is really cute, but I found that I didn't love it very much, even in the correct size when I got the small. I just didn't like how it looked on me. I thought the skirt would be fuller, but it's not. It's actually kind of narrow, and I didn't like that at all. And the cups fit okay. Not great. I feel like the small was a little bit too big for me, and I wish it did have the corset back so that I could cinch it in. So I wasn't a fan just because of that. But otherwise, it's still a really pretty dress. It's well made. It's double lined. So there's lining on the outside and on the inside, but not on the skirt part, I think. Just the bodice. Yeah. Oh, actually, no. The skirt is lined and the bodice is also lined, so it's not see-through at all. And here's a close-up of the bodice. You can see this has the underwire cups and has boning down the middle and on both sides. Um, I do like this little ruching detail here, but it is too big. The cup is too big for me. This is made for more of a B or a C cup. Um, the strap has also got this nice little ruching detail here. I do like how it's got this like little border on the cups and in the front that goes all the way to the back. Speaking of the back, let's take a look at the back. The back, this is a back zip dress and these straps are adjustable with these metal hardware, um, which looks really nice. That uh, also has the boning, two pieces of boning back here as well. And then if you go down the dress, you'll see that it's fitted on the hips and it flares out at the bottom like this. So I've, I have had people describe their fabric um, feel like a paper cloth, or not paper cloth, tablecloth, and it does feel a little bit like that. It's kind of like a weird crunchy 
crunchy cotton material. I think because this is a cotton blend, it's cotton and nylon and a little bit of spandex. And so I think that makes it kind of a, almost like a silky material, but in a very strange way because of the cotton blend. I think I would prefer it if this was completely cotton without the nylon in it, but I think the nylon's added in for durability maybe, and maybe stain resistance, I'm not 100% sure. And I feel like if it was 100% cotton, it would be a little bit more stretchy and a little bit more forgiving. But yeah, um, I don't hate the fabric, but I don't love it either. <laughs> but again, this dress fit me in the small, but not the extra small and it just didn't fit me that great in the small even. Most excited to get from this haul, it is the Carmen dress. I know you've seen this dress on Pinterest, on Instagram, everywhere. It is so pretty. It's like the epitome of cottagecore vibes, and I was so disappointed. Of course, the extra small also didn't fit. I am, again, at the top end of their extra small uh, sizing range, so if you are in the lower end of their extra small sizing range, this will fit you, but again, this dress, the problem is I ordered it in a small and it did fit, but this is a problem with both the extra small and I think the small. This is one of the dresses where they give you the cup size if you're an A to a C or like I think a C to an E, D or something like that, and you can pick the cup size. I obviously picked the one from A to a C, but as you know, if you are an A, you cannot fit a C cup, and that is the problem with the bust. Even though I have a small and I'm an A cup, the bust does not fit at all. It looks a horrible it's like so bad it just it it just keeps funny it looks insanely awful this is made by made for somebody like with a tiny tiny waist like no rib cage and giant boobs i don't know who's meant to wear this besides their models but somebody must fit this i think anybody with a if you size up anybody with a large bust would look great in this because it will snatch you in it has the like these ties in the back that you can cinch in but that doesn't help your bust because the cups are like puckered out in such an awkward, ugly way. I just can't explain my disappointment in this dress because this is the one I was so excited to get. Again, this is this doesn't have any um, underwire in the cups, but it has boning in the front and in the back and is again, double line. Same kind of material as all their other dresses that I bought. It's that cotton um, nylon blend with a little bit of spandex. Again, this one doesn't stretch at all, like very much. So I would size up if you are unsure of your size. And again, the skirt, this time the skirt is not just an inner skirt, but it's actually sewn into the bottom on the Carmen. So it's slightly better done than the other dress, I think. Um, but again, the bust makes it so bad. If I'm gonna spend like $250 on a dress, I expect it to fit out of the box and not have to get it altered, especially the bust, because I don't know how they would alter this to make it fit. They would have to completely take it apart and put it back together. Here's a close-up of the Carmen dress. This is the dress I was most excited to get again. And it might be the worst in quality and fit. Like, just look at this loose thread right here. Like, it's really bad. <laughs> um, everywhere fit except for this bodice. Again, these cups pucker out so much. It looks terrible. I had it, like, untied, and I tucked it, like, all the way in. I tucked, like, so much fabric in, and then it looks okay. But even tied up, uh, it was not flattering. It just looked like smelt melted slow cones or something. It wasn't very flattering. I think if you have a 34B bust, at least, this dress would look amazing on you. I think it would look really, really good on you but as an a cup uh it does not look good on me <laughs> and there is bony again up front here two bones right here and not the center one the center does not have a bone that's just a seam and is boned on just one side because it has the zipper on the side so this is a side zip and then let's look at the back real quick the back is the corseted back so if you are in between sizes i would go up a size because you can always tighten it and that's if you have um the bust to fill out these giant cups um and again look more loose threads on this one that i was kind of disappointed with that and the bodice is uh has kind of a v-shape right here which i really like too and the skirt is beautiful it's nice and full it has a nice slit right here which is one of the reasons i liked it um if you want a alternative to this dress there's some by reformation that look very similar uh they just don't have boning in the reformation versions i'll link those down below too but overall i loved this print and the fuller skirt and the lining is sewn onto the skirt which i also really liked as well 
side note, if you do love the Carmen and you are in a cup like me, um, I did find a dupe of this dress that looks amazing. Leave a comment below if you want to see a video on the dupe because the dupe actually fits. And honestly, they always people always tell are talking about price, you know, price versus quality. You know, you shouldn't buy dupes. When the dress fits so badly, even though it's expensive and really well made, it doesn't matter. Like, it fits awful. <laughs> I think the fit is so much more important than the quality of the fabric or even the quality of the dress because when it doesn't fit, it's just look, gonna look terrible. And this looks terrible on me because it doesn't fit. It doesn't matter that it's $200 and well made and looks amazing with somebody on somebody that's a 34B or C cup, but it looks terrible on me because the cups are way too big. It just looks like melted snow cones. This is the pearl dress. This one is so beautiful. And again, same kind of like cotton blend of fabric. I love this one because it has such a nice full skirt. It just looks so great. I really wanted to love it. I got this in an extra small at first and it looked like it was gonna fit. This again has like no stretch, no stretch at all. So I, it looked like it was gonna fit, but the zipper wouldn't go up for some reason. It just made a weird, like it, it looked like it would close. Like I put the dress together on my back and it would close, but the zipper wouldn't go up. And I had the same exact problem with the size small. And finally, I think after like 20 minutes, my husband managed to zip up the size small on me. And it wasn't even tight. It was a little too loose on me actually. So the zipper on both of them are defective. I'm not the first one. I think I saw a TikTok video of some girl who had the exact same problem. I don't know if it's because they have so much fabric in the skirt and it's so thin up here, but it is impossible to zip up. It just did not zip like I think like past here. And the, the extra small would have fit perfectly if I could get it to zip, but I couldn't get it to zip up at all. I just don't get it. I don't know why like House of CV dresses are made so wonky, I guess. They're not really accurate to the size chart. And um, I don't know, they just, the zipper didn't work. For a 200, over $200 dress, I would expect the zipper to work. And even the larger size, I wouldn't expect for me to take 20 minutes to zip up a dress and even though it fits and it felt loose on me, like the bust was a little bit too loose and too big, I think the extra small would have fit a lot better if I could get it to zip up, but I can't. <laughs> so I think it's defective. And I don't, honestly, I don't think it's just that one. I think they're all like that because the size small had the same problem. This is a close up of the pearl dress. As you can see, I love this detailing panel in the bodice right here. It's got the lace, the ribbon inserted into the lace. This part is really, really beautifully done. I can say it's like flawless. And then of course they've got the hook and eye closure all the way down the front, which is um, open. It's real, so you can open this if you wanted to. And of course I love this lace detail up here on the bodice. That's really, really pretty. That's what makes it special. It's got a little bit of ruching here so that you're, you know, makes a little more of a cup. It gives you a little bit more room for the bust area. And you can see the large gather effect fabric here because it has such a full skirt. As you can see, they continue the same lace pattern up the back. It's a nice square back too, so it's not like all the way up here, but it's like a down strap. Two thick straps again. The lacing continues down the back too. It's really beautiful. Besides the defectiveness of the zipper, I really love this dress. Like right here is where it always gets stuck. Like right here. I don't know if you if you zip it up more times, it'll get better, but that's where it always gets stuck. And I have a feeling it's because there's so much fabric right here gathered at the waist that the zipper has a hard time zipping. I'm not sure if they could have found a better quality zipper that would zip up more easily. As you can see, the skirt is like super duper full. And then there's a full underlayer skirt that's the same material, I believe. And it has this like, you know, this double line or this curtain thing down here to make it even more full and kind of puff out and stand out. So this dress overall is really, really well made, except for that zipper thing and it's defective, which makes it really disappointing. I'm really sad. I would love to have kept this dress if the zipper was like less defective. <laughs> So I tried on the pearl dress again, and I managed to squeeze into the extra small. <laughs> so there is a trick to putting on this dress. I remember when I first made this video, uh, this review for House of CB, that this dress didn't fit. I couldn't get the zipper to zip up in the back because it was defective. And it kind of is because the, um, the inside lining of the zipper kind of like furls out 
and curls and if you can't get it to lay flat it won't zip up and the stress has like no stretch so i couldn't even though it fit closed i couldn't zip it up because it just like furled out it's weird anyway i managed to zip it up by undoing all the hooks over here in the front and then zipping it up and then hooking it back up I gotta say, once I got into this dress, it does look amazing. I look so snatched in this. It fits perfectly. I don't think it would fit if I gained any kind of weight at all. So, I mean, I have a pretty big, I think I have a pretty big rib cage for House of Stevie in general. So this fits exactly, it looks amazing on. Uh, this would be great if you are getting married for a bridal, you know, bridal uh, shower a uh, bridal uh, rehearsal dinner would be it would be a cute dress or if you have a casual wedding you could wear this as you know your reception dress or if you want to have a really casual wedding you could even wear this as your wedding dress i think it's because this like lace paneling looks really really good uh, i also know that how uh, what is it reformation has a dress very similar to this that i think would fit the similar vibe but they usually have that stretchy back panel so it would maybe fit better but um, I can still breathe in this, I think. Let me see. <sighs> yeah. So it's still like okay, but um, it is rather snug. But I do like the fit of how it looks better than the size small. But if you want to be able to eat a lot in this dress, I would size up. I don't know how much food I could actually eat in this dress without like popping a button or something. I have to undo the fry <laughs> at this rate. But uh, I also love, again, here is the, I don't know if you can see this, but the ruffle skirt part that makes it so full and stuff. And that's kind of the reason I love this dress. It has a lot of fabric and out of all the dresses um, I got, I think this probably is the best quality. It has the least amount of loose threads um, and the fit is probably the best for me. And besides the uh, one of the floral ones, and I just love this detail. This is the House of CV Tatiana dress, and this is the only dress that actually really fit me well. Um, so it is again a full skirt, which I love, and, and this is the one that has pockets, which is lovely. The bust actually fit. There's no um, what is it? Underwire cups in the underwire in the underwire in the bust area, and it is not boned. So I maybe that's why it fits. There's no boning in this dress for some reason, which is weird because every one of their other dresses in a similar style has boning. Um, the price point is about the same, but no boning. It does have the crisscross closure in the back, the uh, corseted back, so you can stitch it up tighter if you want to. But this dress actually fit me out of the box uh, outright in a size extra small. And this is a little bit stretchier than the other ones. Oh, never mind. It does have boning. It just has boning on this one side for some reason. I don't get it. Why is the bony asymmetrical? But um, this side doesn't have boning because that's where the zipper is. I guess that's how they can do the corset back, but I don't know why you would put boning on only one side of a dress. That's just really strange to me. I think that construction is a little bit weird. I mean, I would have put it in the front instead of the side, but I'm not a seamstress. I love symmetry, so I don't know. That the asymmetry of the boning kind of bothers me. But otherwise, this dress fit me really well in the bust, in the waist, but maybe it's because it is more stretchy than the other dresses. The fabric, I think, feels slightly different than the other ones. I'm not 100% sure. Let me try to find the tag with the material. Nope, never mind. This is the same blend of cotton, nylon, and 3% elastane. So, yeah, I don't know why this is stretchier, but it is. Maybe because it doesn't have the boning. But the bust did fit on this one again because it is more of a straight cut across and not so much of a cup, I guess, as the one of the other dresses. But the sewing could use a little work. I feel like there's like loose threads over here, you know, like right here. For, again, $200, over $200, I would expect them to have cleaned this up a little bit better. These buttons are real, though, I believe. Yes, the top buttons are real. I don't think the bottom ones are. Let me see. The top three buttons where the bust is, those are real buttons, but the rest are fake. Again, this is double lined. It has like this inner skirt sewn on to the dress itself, which is nice. I like that detail. But again, yeah, see, look at this. Giant loose threads like right here all over the place. Not very neatly sewn. Again, for something that's 200 over $200. I would have expected it to be sewn a little bit better. Um, I do like the adjustable back straps and this nice, nice metal hardware and the ring. And 
this, I mean, this, I do love this gorgeous print and it is of all the dresses I tried on. This is the only one that actually fits me really well and would be worth maybe keeping it at $200, but I'm not even sure just because I've been like kind of disappointed with the House of CB dress. Here's a close-up of this bodice. Again, this dress doesn't have bony except for this one right here. It has uh, buttons all the way down the skirt, but only the top three are real buttons. It is slightly ruched for that cupping effect in the bust area. This one fit in the bust very, very well. And again, we have those nice thick straps up here. It has kind of like a V-shape almost over here, as you can see, like a princess V-shape. The skirt is very nice and full. And I don't know, this print just is so pretty. Like, just look at this. The close-up of the print is really, really pretty. It looks like I was incorrect. The buttons down the bodice are not real. They can't be opened. But the bottoms down the skirt that run all the way down, these are real buttons, so you can unbutton these down here. Um, again, there's like loose threads kind of like everywhere on this thing, which uh, was why I was kind of disappointed in it. The buttonholes aren't finished that great either I feel like I feel like there's yeah you can see all those loose threads everywhere I'm not sure if that's normal maybe because these are covered buttons but yeah there's just kind of like loose threads all over the place especially right here if you can see that loose thread right there and here <laughs> I think it's because there's just so many buttons but um I wish there wasn't this many loose threads on this dress it would make me love it a lot more overall I found the quality of the house of cv dresses to be really good except not but not exceptional i really expected them to be exceptional from what i've seen i think they are still kind of a trendy item the sewing is not great um the material feels a little weird but i can understand they are using cotton and nylon and a, with a little bit of elastane so you're gonna get a little bit of stretch um the sizing honestly is a bit off for me it's just kind of all over the place i think they're making dresses for really skinny girls with really big busts so i feel like that's really unrealistic that's an unrealistic body type so and if you happen to be that body type I think these dresses would look gorgeous on you you should totally get them but I unfortunately am not that body type I do not have big boobs um, and I am apparently not that small either so um, I am a little disappointed in the house of CB and their sizing and the fit of the dress for $200 I would really like it to fit me if you like the style of the dresses I would check out Reformation um, if you have a small bust. <laughs> Reformation dresses have tend to be cut smaller in the bust and they tend to fit better in the bust area for somebody that's not busty. So yeah, if they have kind of a similar style, but Reformation also has a, I guess, shired or, um, what is it called? Shired or smocked back. So it's a little bit stretchier. Their fabric is different. They use a, not a similar material, they use a viscous, uh, which is like a cellulose fabric. It's like a creepy kind of fabric. It does wrinkle really easily. I'm like wearing a Reformation dress right now. So uh, those are your options if you do like that kind of style but have a smaller bust. And definitely the stretchy smocked back panel is more forgiving with Reformation. Again, I really, really wanted to love House of CB and I still love how their dresses look, but just on other people because they don't fit me <laughs> at all. If you are looking for more summer dresses that are more flattering on a small bust, definitely check out my video on favorite Shein dresses. They all fit a small bust and are super flattering. If you like this video, remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, bye.